Hey, what's up guys? Windows 8 is here. Well, not the official version. This is just a developer preview release, but anybody can get their hands on it. You don't need to be part of a developer program like Apple makes you do. So if you want to go ahead and download the uh, Windows 8 developer preview, you just need to go to this URL. It's msdn.microsoft.com forward slash en-us forward slash windows forward slash home. But if you don't remember that, the link is just, <laughs> the link is down below. I can't even talk. I'm stuttering off of that. Uh, but the link is right down below if you want to check that out. But you hit the get started button right there, and they give you three options to download Windows 8. Now, most people are not going to need this one. This is developer tools. This has like a gig more of stuff. You don't need that unless you're a developer. But you can either get the 64-bit version or the 32-bit version. I got the 64-bit running on my Mac right now. So if you're on a PC, just install it like regular. Now, I don't recommend installing this over your main OS. Uh, put it on another partition on your hard drive or another boot disk or whatever um, because it still is a developer build. Anything can go wrong with it. And also, too, I'm on a Mac. So, again, I'm on my Mac, and there's two different ways you can run this via boot camp, which most people have success with running the boot camp or using a virtualization software like Parallels or VMware Fusion, like I'm using right now. So, I am using VMware Fusion 4.0, I believe that's the last one that just recently came out. And I'm running it right now, and I'm recording this video and also doing screen capture at the same time. So, Windows 8 may be running a little bit slower than it normally would be if I wasn't doing all those things in this virtualization software, but you'll be able to get the drift. Now, here's Windows 8. Well, at least the Metro UI version of it. This is not how the entire Windows 8 looks. Some people may be thinking that. I want to go back to the traditional desktop view. I can just click that button right there. And now I can go through and do Windows, you know, like normal. Like the everyday boring stuff. But I want to go to the UI here. I like the Metro UI here. I love it. Um, so anyway, it's going to take a look at some of the applications. I downloaded this about an hour ago. I've just been messing with it just a little bit. And I decided to just go ahead and do a video with this. So the first thing I went is I had to set up my Twitter. And they have this application called Tweeterama, which I think is pretty slick, pretty nice. And the whole Metro UI that, um, again, Microsoft calls this is very just clean, straight to the point. Just a very nice, clean interface. And uh, So to the left here, I have my timeline of all the people that I follow. And uh, then I have my tweets right here. And then, of course, I have the people that I'm following. Then if you scroll over, you can scroll over to the right there. But I think it goes into my DMs and all that stuff. I don't want to do that, even though I'm not trying to hide anything. Um, but anyway, <laughs> that's, uh, that's Twitterama or Tweeterama. I can't talk. But um, anyway, it's going to take a look at the, what is this? Social, social light, I believe. Yes. So this is kind of like the, whoa, this is, that's an old school picture of me. So this is basically uh, Facebook. Um, and uh, it connects to your Facebook account. Of course, you log in to Facebook. And so now you can go through and scroll through all these different things. Check-ins, friends, photos, profile. So I'm going to go to the news feed here and see what my friends are talking about. Scroll down. What's up? Somebody checked in at Sprint. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, you can do different things like that. Just going right to your news feed. All right, so if you refresh, you can keep clicking this button. It'll refresh this home thing. It'll change your different little thumbnails for it. It's a very nice thumbnail right there. And also, too, this is back when Halo 3 came out. I changed it to my profile picture. That's that's a big throwback. Back to college. And me getting some army on way back in the day. So anyway, this is Socialite, kind of Facebook for... Uh, uh, Facebook for Windows 8. But I'm pretty sure that would get better um, in the future. Um, now it has some... Uh, I think this is RSS. Yes. RSS, yes. All right, so this is nice. The headlines is what they're calling this application. You're going to look at some news here if you wanted to. Now, in most applications, if you right click, you'll be have a, you pull up this little um, bar down here at the bottom that has some options to either go back or to close out or to refresh anything like that. Um, and so again, you don't need to have a touch interface device like a touch screen, like a touch smart, or have this on a tablet or have like a, a trackpad or something. Um, you can still use just a regular mouse and keyboard. I know some people were kind of questioning that as well. All right, so back to the start menu here to scroll over here and see what we got here. I got the piano application. And I'm just going randomly through some things here. So hopefully this video doesn't run on for too long, which is not loading up. <laughs> um, all this stuff was loading up earlier before. So I don't know whether I, I think it's more likely just because I'm um, kind of uh, screen recording, screen capturing, and doing that stuff right now as well. So anyway, you're looking at the weather application. It's supposed to be sunny Anaheim. I'm trying to see what else you can do with this. All right. So you can add a current. You can I can add my current city if I wanted to. I can add a different city. Do a summer review. Again, I just right clicked New York. Doesn't everybody add New York to your weather list of any type of new device that you get? I just put new. What a big fail. Alrighty, so add a New York. Boom, there it is. And now I can scroll between both of them just like that. Alrighty, back out of that. Um, so I'm trying to see what else I'm going to show you guys. Um, the alarms application. I don't know what this is. I haven't even been into an alarms application yet. I can add an alarm. Cool. Out of that. All right, uh, let's see here. So I know this application right here connects to, uh, I believe, Flickr. 
and you can look at some photos labyrinth i think that's another game near me is pretty cool i'm not gonna do it because it'll show my location but uh near me will allow you to if you if you're somewhere like in a new place on your laptop maybe you went to a new city you'll be able to look at all the latest or the coolest restaurants or attractions that are near um, you and look at all the ratings and stuff like that um ink pad i believe this is some type of writing application yes i was writing in this before so you can just write like that you know to kind of smooth everything out after a little while and that will probably be better on a tablet especially if you have like a uh, a little pen or a little stylus or something like that with it. All right, so we can now go into the control panel. You can see that it's basically just like, well, it doesn't look like the regular uh, ver version or regular view of Windows, um, but you can see you can get to most of the things that you need to customize or other settings that you need to change right from here if you wanted to. Uh, quick little notifications here for the applications. You can turn them on or off. I do like this, how it's very fast, very simple, very easy. So that is the control panel. Um, and again, you can go right back into the traditional view again back to the regular desktop view If I want to surf the web or do anything like that on here I can do the same thing right here and it will look a lot better once I change my resolution <laughs> So it's not how it's gonna look uh, regular, but anyway, this is Windows 8 I'm not gonna spend too much longer on it. I just kind of like a little intro a little preview of it a preview of the preview uh, So anyway, I know some of you out there have already downloaded What do you think about Windows 8 so far or what do you want to expect from it? What do you want to really get out of Windows 8? Do you think it's only gonna be good for tablets as far as this Metro UI or you think everybody would be able to use this on your desktop your laptop or your tablet or your possibly even your cell phone? I don't know. But anyway guys, I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching guys, and I will catch you later Peace and I guess I I guess I was a PC for at least these last few minutes.